Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So I have some news today. One is I modified my full speed toothpick to have HD capabilities without really increasing its weight that much. Did I fly it? No, because I just finished it and it's 11.30 p.m. However, you might be like, how much does it weigh? Well, before we get into that, there is some news. Uh, tomorrow I'll be testing it and that's right after I come back from the Chinese embassy. And why am I going to the Chinese embassy? Well, Banggood actually invited us. So hopefully I get the visa and go there because if I do go there, I want to visit the manufacturers and uh, really ask, you know, not just seeing the product line, like understand, talk to the engineers, testing process and the testing procedures. I really want to get into that and just take a look at it and also share it with you guys because I think that's going to be really, really interesting. So as you can tell, this is 51 grams. Now, 51 grams is an increase of, well, it used to be 44 grams before. So now it's 51 grams. Not that much, but it did, you know, in grams with these, it does kind of count a lot a bit. So <clears throat> I don't know how it's going to fly tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and test it out. Um, and I really have high hopes for this. Now, how did I do this? You have to take into consideration. It wasn't really simple and straightforward. It actually took me two hours. And I didn't have to solder any wires, believe it or not. It was just me trying to connect everything. Now you will need something. You will need something like this, that's for sure. Luckily, I was going through the toolkit that I showed the other day. I'll have a link down below. This toolkit is insane and it comes with a box and everything. Uh, it has one of these in here. So I was able to tighten the standoffs that were in very difficult positions. If it wasn't for this, it, it would have been a nightmare. I would have probably popped off components off of the boards here. So this thing has a 20 by 20 stack, as you can see that. And it also has 16 by 16. However, we're not taking advantage of any of the 16 by 16. Now this is going to get really, really interesting here. Now the VTX that comes out of the box with the full speed toothpick is 20 by 20. However, the flight controller and the ESC are 16 by 16. However, the, <laughs> the VTX, as you can tell, it has like some sort of a concave, so it'll allow you to use the two of the 16 by 16 holes, but we completely ditched that. So what we have is we just have three 20 by 20s holding the VTX into place, then holding the Cadex Turtle board into place. And remember the 16 by 16, so now we are uh, 20 by 20. So now we are blocking the 16 by 16. So there's this 3D printed part right here, which I'll you know have a picture right there. I'll get into this later on in more detail once I go fly it and it works out great. Uh, this 3D printed part up in the corner right there comes like into a little diamond. And what that is, is it'll take advantage of those three standoffs that are 20 by 20 and convert them to, to 16 by 16. And it's right here. So here's the Cadex. And then this is the board or the 3D printed part, as you can tell. There's one standoff, one standoff, and there's another one here. Those are the 20 by 20. And the inner ones are gonna be the 16 by 16 that allow you to uh, mount the ESC and the flight controller because obviously they're 16 by 16. So this is gonna be really interesting. It weighs 55 grams, so I'm hoping it's gonna perform really well. Wish me luck, guys. I'll have everything linked down below and that toolkit. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.